Hey everybody, and welcome to the first episode of my new project, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, or more specifically, the Adventure Mode, the Subspace Emissary. Save the world from subspace in this action game, one to two players. Of course, we're going to run at it solo, so let's go ahead and start it up. Of course, we're going to go at this brand spanking new. And go with P135. Yes, or PS135. Now what I'm going to do is, to, to make this interesting, is I'm going to bump up the difficulty. Uh, start off with easy, and every time I clear a stage, I have to go up by a difficulty. And if I fail a stage three times at a difficulty level, I have to drop it down by one. So, let's go ahead and get started with easy. Zelda Peach Mario Kirby Alright, this is our first fight. We can either choose to play as Kirby or Mario. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to pick Mario because I've played as Mario enough. You can just ignore all that sounds. I'm running this on, on a Wii, so... Uh, you see right there is I picked up Super Spicy Curry, which means I'm going to involuntary spit spit fire got it Hit. All right, now we can run it. Well, we can choose between one of these four. Uh, I'm going to, again, default back to Mario because... Uh, oh, okay, we select the order that we're going to play it, plays them. Mario, Zelda, Kirby, the Peach. I, I can't stand Peach at all. Uh, that right there was a smoke bomb, which all it does is um, create a smoke cloud. Makes it difficult to see. That's a smart bomb, which that does uh, devastating proximity attacks. Or a proximity explosion. That's a hammer. Basically, it's a one-hit kill, or it does heavy damage. Uh, Mr. Saturn, which just makes funny sounds when you throw him. Here's a firebox. Two. 
but you can see what it does when I... Well, either set it on fire or do, uh, deal some heavy damage. Now, stop hitting me. Oh, Mario just auto-throws it when I grab him. Okay, alright. Done like dinner. The Ancient Minister. Here we go. Kirby against PD Piranha. Now, you really don't have to do anything spectacular against PD. You can smack him around, but the only way to actually beat him is um, to break one of the cages. You can either break Zelda or Peach's cage. And attacking PD does damage to both. Although less damage unless you concentrate um, your fire on one. And there we go. Dunzo. Wario! Alright, stage clear. Got Kirby and Zelda on our team. So, uh, yeah, here's the world map. Um, obviously, that purple ball means that we can't go there. Uh, next up is Sky World, but we're going to do that on another episode. Uh, here, we can put stickers on um, our teammates. And they have various effects such as, you know, um, how much damage punching attacks do, how much damage kicking attacks do, how much damage special attacks do, um, can come equipped with a uh, item. Well, these are arm, legs, weapons, how much, you know, your weapon attacks do, head for like headbutts or something, uh, bodies, spin. Your throwing damage, etc. You know, basically, this is to help with uh, all those tough fights. Which I don't plan on using stickers. I'm going to try and you know gut this out. Anyway, um, yeah, that's going to that's going well. It's not going to do it for this episode, but it is going to do it for this run of uh, Subspace Emissary. Uh, next time, we're going to go to Sky World. But the video's not quite done, as I will be doing something special. I will be going over the fighters of this game. So, I'll see you guys for today's fighter of the day.
Mr. Nintendo himself, Mario, as the fighter of the day. His default attack, his default B, Fireball, does 5% damage and follows the laws of physics. His side B, Cape, will do 8% damage and turn the opponent around. His down special, Flood, does absolutely no damage but can push the opponent away. And his up special, Super Jump Punch, does 5% damage per hit and then you can only get a max of 7 seven hits, making it a great recovery. His final smash, Mario Finale, does an initial attack of 3% damage followed by 2% damage and pushes the opponent off the screen. Mario's main strategy is to just get into the fray and you know smack enemies around. He's pretty much the default character so that means he's you know uh, easy to easy to pick up and play and easy to master.